Hey everybody, Tim Timmons here with 10,000 Minutes. Here's my question. Who have you already judged today? Who have you been judging in this past season? You're probably judging me right now because of my good looks or even for my affiliation with Steve the Pirate or because my beard is completely out of control of which I completely agree. I don't see myself as a very judgy person, but as I stop and just evaluate, I'm judging people all day long. Do I trust you? Do I like you? Do I agree with how you eat, what you eat, what you do, who you vote for, how you dress, how you talk, how you look, how you drive, etc. All day long, I'm judging you, and I'm sorry. Anybody with me? I love this quote from the late Billy Graham. It's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge, and it's our job to love. Surprise! This week we're going to talk about judging. Just think about it. How quick are you and I to judge people, to evaluate who they are, and actually give them a label or an identity, give them a name? If I deem you as worthy, then you have a place at my table. And if I judge you and you do not meet up to my standards, you do not really belong at the table. And once again, we're back to this dangerous word called contempt, thinking that I'm better than somebody else. It's like the classic Oprah, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. But it's almost like I go, you belong at the table, you belong at the table, you don't belong at the table. The table seemed to be the place where Jesus did most of his work. And when we talk about communion, we're actually talking about the gathering of people that did not fit. But because of Jesus, he said, you are welcome. No matter what you've done, no matter what I've done, we belong at the table with Jesus. It's almost like in this season, I'm literally looking at these other people saying, you don't belong at the table with Jesus. I do, but you don't. Yet what if our heart was Jesus? Be thou my vision. Oh, Lord of my heart. If I'm honest, I'm not going around looking at other people through the eyes and through the lens of Jesus. And I'm surely not looking at my enemies as if they are image bearers of God. What would it look like this next week if we started looking at people through the lens and the heart of Jesus? To quiet the constant contemptuous evaluation of other people and trade it for wonder. Wonder looks like us praying for these people and actually practicing compassion instead of contempt. As one of my best friends and heroes, Ryan Callahan says, let's free evaluate people. Let's practice free evaluating each other. Instead of judging people on how they look and what they do and how they act, what if we stopped in that moment and held back and said, Jesus, how do we see these people with your eyes today? So the 10,000 minute practice for us this week is for us to free evaluate. We're gonna actually free up our need to judge everybody else around us. Thank you, Jesus, that I belong at your table no matter what. And Jesus, would you give us eyes to see other people with the same compassion? So this week, let's hold back our judgment of people and ask for Jesus' eyes. Let's free evaluate. Thanks, you guys, so much for journeying with us. Please like, subscribe, do all the things to this new channel. Thanks, you guys. Love you very much. Bye.